fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. Here we go. Late afternoon solo trip. A little windy. Got the two rods ready. Gonna try for some fluke. Not gonna go long. See a little bit of, uh, hard to tell I guess with the camera, but you could see I don't got a lot of room to get out. I'm pretty tight in here with all these boats and sailboats. And I uh, got the wind pushing us back, so it'll be interesting. Uh, turn the camera back on when I'm getting out. That might be the, the most uh, funny part of this video. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this was a recent late afternoon trip, literally one hour uh, in a pretty stiff southeast wind. Um, and I, I didn't really catch anything. Uh, you'll, <laughs> you'll see some sea robins I brought up. Uh, and they should be running over this audio. Um, but, but really the, the point of this video is I, I wanted to show you guys how challenging it can be. And those of you who have driven boats will know what I'm talking about. But for those who haven't, really they're, they're typically um, the hairiest part of some fishing trips is the docking of the boat, the getting out and then and then redocking, and for us it's it's even more difficult because we're in a very tight narrow spot. Now the GoPro camera I use shows a very wide angle. You're, it looks like we have a lot of room, but literally we're we're dealing with uh, in some cases six inches to a foot where you have to make a turn or pivot the boat, and you've got stuff in front of you and stuff behind you. And it's it's really not as easy as it looks. And I figured, um, you know, let let's put a video up showing the the docking. Um, not exciting. Uh, really, uh, no big fish caught. Um, and uh, would not be surprised if not a lot of people watch it. I'm gonna I'm not gonna clickbait. I'm I'm gonna explain what it is in the description. Um, but uh, welcome any comments you guys have. Thank you again for watching and tight lines, everybody. The ropes in the back already is trying to swing me out. I just have the spring cleat on here in the middle. In the middle. Oh boy. You know, getting out might be okay. Coming back in, though, might be a different story. Let's see how we do. And against my better judgment, I'm going to try to go out forward. I think it might be easier than trying to control the boat backwards. Let me tilt the engine up. Five feet of water, still okay. Wind is pushing us, wind is pushing us. Should have backed out, I think. I think we'll be okay. Yep, we're gonna clear that prop. Now we gotta clear this sailboat. Look at that. With a few feet to spare. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens today. Part two of the docking video. This should be interesting. The wind is blowing, like I said in the beginning, at the exact worst direction, which is southeast. It uh, pushes us away from our dock and towards uh, the street, if you will. And we got a couple of boats. We got a lot of boats in that little tight area. Uh, it's, it's our marina on one side and he's full and then we have the residence next door his marina and not only is he full he's got uh i don't know i don't know if i like the way he may have extra boats there but what are you gonna do it's, it's his house it's his water and i don't blame him for 
filling up those spots. I believe they're they're all his boats too, the owners. So comes a sailboat right at us. I gotta go left. Oh, should I let him go? I'm gonna let him go and he's gotta sail up. Give him some give him some room. I gotta cut left there. So if you can see that green sentry, see the tail end of it with the one Yamaha. I go between that boat and the sailboat. And the key here is to go as slow as possible. I know some other folks have a different opinion. They like to go fast. Me, I am a chicken. I go as slow as humanly possible. Let's see if these people say hi. Let me know. Hello. See my little little area, and I don't know how it's going to show up on the video, but this is not easy. And I think you can see. So when the wind is blowing into my face, it's easy. It holds you up. You can just turn the boat on a pivot and dock. Looks like we've got a neighbor here too. That might be helpful. So I'm in neutral right now, and I'm moving two miles an hour. I'm going to try to stay as close to this sailboat as possible. How's it going? Alright. What I want to do is I want to clear... The back of my engine needs to clear the boat to my left. It's, it's a lot tighter and it's the worst possible wind today, too. And it's a bad tide. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna be good. There we go. Thank you, sir. It is getting harder. Yeah, well, you know what it is? It just feels so shallow over there that I'm afraid to run the motor. I, I don't remember it being that shallow no, it's there. It's gotten bad. Where's your boat? I sold the sailboat. Oh, get out of here. You just have the contender now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, everybody, for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button.